Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, and this is Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. I was the head coach of the Punahou Boys varsity tennis team for 22 years, and we were fortunate to win 22 consecutive state championships. This show is based on my books, Beyond the Lines and Beyond the Game, and it's about leadership, character, and creating a superior culture of excellence. My special guest today is a super sports agent whose clients include NFL star quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Super Bowl 53 MVP, Julian Edelman. He is Carter Chow. And today we are going way beyond contract negotiations. Hey, Carter, welcome to Beyond the Lines. Thanks for having me, Rusty. It's a privilege to be here. I'm uh, grateful for the opportunity and look forward to spending some time with you today. Carter, you are such an, a highly sought after sports agent. And I know that you played college tennis at BYU in Utah. And can you tell me a bit of, uh, more about your background? Sure, sure. I, I, grew, up at, uh, I grew up in Utah, as you, as you know. My, my father was at Brigham Young University working for, for a long time. And uh, I played junior tennis uh, all over Utah and the Intermountain region, and then uh, ultimately ended up playing at, at, at BYU and uh, had an incredible experience there. I, I met my wife there. She's a, a Punahou graduate, Sarah Lee. Uh, her father has also been on, on your show. And so uh, I've, I'm very familiar with uh, uh, the work you're doing, which I, I think is, is, is terrific. Um, after graduating from, uh, from BYU, we went to law school together. And I uh, tell everyone, if it wasn't for Sarah, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't have graduated. She did much, much better than I did, but uh, she got me through law school and that uh, jump-started my career in, in, in law. I uh, did an internship for the Houston Texans in 2002. It was their inaugural season in the NFL and just had a, a fabulous experience there. was exposed to a lot of things that are very applicable to what I'm doing in my, in my current job. Uh, at the time, I didn't ever think I'd be working in sports. I'd already taken a job at a, a big corporate law firm in, in New York. And after our time in Houston, we did go to New York for several years. And and, and really, that was an opportunity for me to kind of cut my teeth on, on the corporate side, uh, learning about negotiations, uh, writing agreements, and uh, uh, just uh, understanding how, uh, how, 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 how the world works, if you will. And uh, after that, I, I spent a few years uh, at the Arena Football League. And that's really kind of how I got back into sports and and now 16 years later uh, been helping clients uh, both on and off the field um, uh, with their professional endeavors so that's uh, kind of my experience in 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 in, in a nutshell but um, uh, I do uh, look forward to talking to you a little bit more about uh, some of the experiences I've had over the years now Carter I mean, I had your dad, Coach Norm Chow, on my show last year, and he is such a such a great man, such a great coach. And you got to see him throughout your whole life. Now, <laughs> what's the biggest thing you learned from your dad? Well, that's a hard question, Rusty. I, I, I've learned so much from my dad over the years. I mean, he's he's my biggest fan he's my mentor and um certainly one of my best friends and um really watching him and his approach to his profession it's it's really just about the hard work and, and preparation and and uh doing doing things the right way with integrity and and, and and honesty and uh commanding respect and i think if 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 nothing else despite all the the wins and the losses and the success that he, he may have had. Um, it, it's really about treating people with respect and, and doing things the right way. And, and that's what I'll always um, uh, take away from, from, from my father and the things that he's taught me over the years. Yeah. I mean, he's a man that definitely works hard and I mean, to, to work with three Heisman trophy winners, I mean, that's amazing. And we, we all know that movie, that Tom Cruise movie, Jerry Maguire, right, Carter, <laughs> that, you know, he plays a sports agent. But in real life, it's nothing really like that, right? No, no, it isn't. I, I often get asked that question. I, I, I wish my day-to-day -day life was as uh, exciting or as uh, sexy as uh, what happened in, in that movie. But uh, unfortunately, it, it's not. I mean, I, I have had some, oh, uh, wow, Jerry Maguire moments in my career. But uh, no, I mean, um, 
you know, I, 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 I work hard just like everybody else does uh, day in and, and, and day out. Um, but uh, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, elaborate parties or um, hanging out on super yachts uh, all, all the time. I, I have had those experiences, but uh, uh, you know, we, uh, we, we, we do work hard uh, from our desks every, every day. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I know you work hard. I mean, it, but yeah, it's not about all the partying and stuff. I mean, you guys do so much beyond contract negotiations with endorsement deals. I mean, what else do you guys do? Yeah, you know, I, I feel like I wear many hats in my my role as an agent. Uh, obviously, my job is to help my clients find and and to keep keep jobs. Uh, it's not just getting drafted or uh, getting to a, a spot where they're 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 on a team. It's it's really uh, helping them keep keep jobs, and I found that those conversations and those relationships mature o- over time. Uh, but there's a lot that goes into uh, what what I do. I mean, I, I'm 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 a counselor. I'm a uh, psychologist. I'm <laughs> I'm just someone that will uh, be a, a sounding board for 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 my clients. So oftentimes, they 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 want to talk to someone that's not their parents, not their spouse, someone they can just uh, have uh, have a conversation with and not and and not be judged and really that allows me I think uh, Rusty to do my job the best that I can because I do get to know my clients on such a very uh, intimate level if you will that it, it allows me to uh, really when I'm negotiating contracts for them put the things that they value first uh, obviously I'm not I'm, I'm negotiating uh, the contract on their behalf and we're trying to accomplish what they want to accomplish and so. For me to properly do that, I think it, it just takes time and, and effort to get to know them and to understand what their goals and, 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 and aspirations are. And every, everyone's a little bit different. It's not necessarily always about uh, dollars and cents. I mean, some guys, they want to be in a certain city. Uh, some guys want to play for a, a specific coach or a specific organization. And so I think in the public eye, sometimes people see decisions being made and they don't really understand what the the, the goal of the player was um or well, they could have made a lot more money here well yes they could have but uh, they value uh, being in a certain situation maybe more than uh, another player would when it comes to just dollars and cents now carter tom brady is one of the most polarizing athletes in all of sports and what is your connection to tom brady so my, my partners, Don Yee and Steve Dubin, have represented Tom since he came into the NFL. And um, I have been very, very fortunate, lucky, blessed, whatever you want to call it, to have uh, uh, had a front row seat to one of the most incredible careers in, in professional sports. Man, you know, that, that's amazing that you had that that's, front row seat. That's a, I mean. that's a fun picture. That was after the uh, AFC Championship game a, a couple of years ago. But uh, yes, it's, it's, it's been incredible. And uh, Tom and his, his family have been very gracious to, to me and my family over the years. And, and I'll be, always be appreciative of that relationship. Oh, that's absolutely incredible, Carter. And I want to ask you, Carter, what specifically do you look for in clients? So that, that, that's a good question. And, um, you know, when you think about the draft every year, Rusty, there's maybe 250 players that are, are, are selected every year, uh, are, are around, around 250. About 350 are invited to the combine. And that's generally a, a good indication of whether a player may or may not be drafted. We just finished the combine in Indianapolis. Uh, uh, it's just actually finishing up as, as, as we speak. And so, when we're trying to identify young men that we want to work with, we're really looking for three specific. So obviously they've, they've got to have the ability to play in the NFL. Um, there's so many good college players out there, but um, playing in the NFL, it's, it's just a whole, it's a whole nother level. Um, you think about that progression from being a college uh, a high school athlete uh, and, and getting a college scholarship and then moving on to the NFL, the percentages are, are, are very, very small. And so they have to have the ability. Um, number two, I'm, I'm looking for good character players to work with. And I think every agent will tell you they're looking for good character. And to me, that's more than just not getting a call at two o'clock in the morning and have to clean up a mess, right? I'm looking for guys that uh, have a certain type of work ethic, that they're, 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 they're humble, they're coachable, 
they're guys that um, play teammates want to play for. They want to, they, 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 they want to be a part of something special. And I think um, oftentimes that's not something you can learn. It's just something that's inherent and, and that you've um, uh, sharpened over, over, over the years. And then the last thing for me is um, I'm looking for someone that would be a good personality fit for me, uh, someone that will match the, 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 the qualities that I feel like I have, um, the, 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 I'm losing my word here, the um, uh, kind of uh, the qualities that um, yeah, make, me, make me who I am. And we, we work so closely with these clients and their families that we want to make sure that uh, we're representing it, them the way that they want to be represented. Yeah, and Carter, talking with you, I mean, I know that you're, I mean, it's all about relationships with you. And one of your clients is uh, NFL star quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, and you have a fantastic relationship with him. And I want to ask you if you can talk to me about your relationship with him and, and really what makes him successful. Sure. I mean, Jimmy, first of all, he comes from an awesome family. It's, it's a big Italian family. There's four brothers and um, they're very, very close knit. And uh, I, I love that uh, about him. Uh, very good values. And um, they, it's Midwestern family that uh, you know, I, I think um, uh, is, is just a great model for uh, for. for for, for young people growing up. Uh, but Jimmy, um, he's, he's a very likable person. It's, uh, it's no secret that he's had success uh, everywhere he's gone because his, his teammates want to play for him. He, um, uh, he, oftentimes QBs do their own things when it comes to, to working out. They've got their own regimen or their own uh, kind of style of, of, of working out. But Jimmy's right in there with the offensive linemen, with the linebackers, uh, pushing them in the weight room as he is off, uh, on the field. And I think other players respect that. Uh, I certainly respect that. And um, you know, he's just been uh, a pleasure to work with both on and off the field. And you know, he's in a very unique situation uh, right now, um, contractually. But uh, I think uh, if you follow anything that's happened this past year, he's done a very good job of just focusing on uh, his business on the field. And he's He's, he's done a nice job kind of blocking out some of the outside noise that um, may have been uh, around the, the, the organization and the, and the league for the, for, for the 2021 season. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. I mean, Jimmy G, he, he finds a way to get the job done. I mean, he's an absolute winner. And another winner is uh, your other client, Julian Edelman, who was the Super Bowl 53 MVP. <laughs> Now, can you tell me about what, you know, Julian's character and, and what makes him successful? Wow. Um, I, I love Julian. It, it was, it was hard this year, uh, not seeing him out on, on the field after having worked with him his entire career, but um, uh, Julian outside of, of, of Tom, probably the hardest worker that I've had the privilege of, of working with over, over the course of my career, uh, true blue collar guy. Uh, he grew up, um, uh, just outside of San Francisco. His father is a mechanic. And I think uh, his dad really drove him uh, to uh, become the type of player and in, in, in person he, he is. He, he was very, very hard on him. If you, if you talk to Julian or his father, I mean, they make no bones about it. Uh, um, Julian was always undersized, always over, overlooked. He played at a junior college. He went to a non-Power 5 Mac school. And um, no one really thought much of him coming <laughs> coming out of college. I mean, he played quarterback uh, at Kent State and uh, obviously had to make a position switch when he uh, moved to the NFL. And there weren't a lot of people uh, outside of my partners and I, Rusty, that that that, that really believed uh, that Julian could uh, could do what uh, what he did. But uh, he was ultimately drafted by the Patriots uh, in the seventh round. Now I'll, I'll tell you that that wasn't by coincidence, uh, and um, really after that uh, he got his opportunity, took full advantage of that opportunity, and to his credit, uh, he earned everything that uh, that he got, and uh, um, it was a fun uh, it was a fun run, and um, still enjoy communicating with Julian, working with him a little bit. Um, but I got to tell you, in my in my professional career, that Super Bowl Fifty Three, uh, when the Patriots beat the Rams in Atlanta, and he was uh, was chosen as the Super Bowl MVP, was probably one of the highlights. Uh, I was there with my family. Uh, was obviously, as you can see in that picture, on the field with Julian after the game, and then uh, after my family got to meet him, and 
Uh, Julian gave my, my my son his gloves that he's wearing in that picture from 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 that game, and uh, we got to hold the Lombardi Trophy together. And just a, it was a really really neat experience for my for my family and um, uh, you know, having Julian and, and, and Tom as his clients at, at that time was a really special uh, time for us. Oh, that that's that's extraordinary. I mean, and you've you've seen him, you know, from the beginnings all the way, you know, to the what, till he retired, and that's absolutely fascinating. <laughs> wait, 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 we have some time. I, I, I we got lots of Julian stories, so uh, probably, <laughs> probably not uh, the time and place right now. But uh, uh, terrific, ter terrific guy, and um, you know, I, I consider him uh, a good friend. So I'm, I'll always be appreciative to Julian and uh, what he did for me. And my no, he's he's has he's such a great example for everybody. And you know, Carter, it you look to me, it seems like you're a coach because don't you do a lot of coaching and guiding with your clients to help them? You know, yes. Um, I, I've never been a professional coach in, in in any capacity other than you know, maybe helping my son's little league teams, but um I feel like my responsibility uh, as an agent is to provide my clients with honest and meaningful guidance and, and, and advice, uh, no different than a, a coach would do with, with, with any of their players. And uh, to really help put them in positions, uh, Rusty, for them to have success, right? I mean, uh, as a coach, you can only do so much to prepare your players uh, to go out and, 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 and compete. And I feel like as uh, as an agent, that's what we're that's that's what we're doing as well. We're 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 hopefully putting them in in the best positions possible to find success, and having the necessary conversations and preparing them uh, to be able to go out and uh, and and make good decisions for 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 themselves. I mean, as much as uh, in, in in your books, I, I I could feel some of the angst when you're watching your players compete in the state championship. I mean, that's that's like me on Sundays. I mean. There's really nothing you can do once uh, you know once once that first serve is hit or, or once the, the, the ball is kicked. Uh, but you just hope and, and, and pray that your preparation and hard work uh, pays off, and uh, your 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 players or your clients can go on and, and compete. No, you know, and Carter, I think you and I have PhDs in psychology without actually having the actual certificate of a PhD in psychology. <laughs> no question, no question. Uh, I've, I've spoken to my father about that many, many times. He does have a, a doctorate in educational psychology, and uh, you know, sometimes I'm flying by the seat of my pants. But uh, like I said before, I mean, oftentimes uh, you know, players they're just they're just looking to talk. And uh, I've learned over the course of my career that uh, sometimes the best thing that we can do, Rusty, is just listen. And um, uh, I think a lot of problems can 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 be resolved by just 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 listening and you know, oftentimes sharing your own life stories that um, may be uh, something that the player can relate to. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Carter. And and you mentioned my books are a little earlier. And I know that you got my books through, you know, from your dad, Coach Norm, and from your father-in-law, Abe Lee. I mean, you're getting it from both directions. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for one to be signed to me. I mean, I've got one, hey, Coach and, and Diane or, you know, Abe Lee. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to getting my own signed copy from you. So maybe uh, after the show, we can take care of that. Oh, well, definitely. I'll definitely sign it for you. <laughs> To Carter. <laughs> now, they're, I mean, they're huge fans of my books. I feel so grateful to them. And I want to know how you like the books and, and what stood out to you in it. Yeah, no, I, I, I love the books. Um, uh, I really enjoyed um, the way that you started your second book, uh, make, making an impact. And uh, I really took that to heart, both in my professional life and, and, and my personal life as, as a husband and a father. And uh, you know, like I said, I, I'm, I'm a, an avid tennis player. I, I don't play as much as I'd, I'd, I'd like to uh, these days, but um, you know, I really feel like the sport can be an allegory for life. And uh, I love the way that you've kind of woven the different stories and experiences that you've had um, into um, uh, teaching people about uh, you know, being, being successful and, and going beyond, beyond the lines and, 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 and actually finding success. In business and and in life, and um, yeah, I think back to my own experience with tennis, and um, yeah, it just teaches you so many things, right? It teaches you uh, about physical and mental toughness, and hard work, and, and, and dedication. And I love that quote, um, and I'll butcher it, but that you used by Andre Agassi about uh, 
the tennis, uh, there's, there's no uh, secret why tennis uses the language of, of, of life, right? It, it just, um, it's a catalyst for so many things that, uh, that, that can be learned. So um, I, I, I really enjoyed uh, reading both of them and um, I definitely uh, want to send them to some of my clients uh, for a you know, training camp or, or, or Christmas gifts uh, here this year. I think they would enjoy reading them as well. Well, I, I like that you said that the impact, you know, make an impact. That's what we're all trying to do. And yeah, we definitely got to inspire your clients as well. And, and Carter, what, what is the best advice you ever received? Uh, you know, I think it'd probably be something my father said. It's, it's, it's really just about treating people with respect and kindness and uh, you know, if you find ways to serve others in, in whatever capacity, I mean, I do feel like in my job, one of the things I enjoy is, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm serving my clients. You know, they're obviously paying for a service, but uh, I'm, I'm serving them and helping them to, to find success uh, both on and, and off the field and, and, and ultimate, ultimately happiness off the field. And I think if you do that, um, you can find uh, happiness and fulfillment in your own life. And Carter, you have a beautiful family. I mean, your wife, Sarah, your kids, I mean, they, <laughs> it, you must feel so happy that they, they totally like 1 million percent support you and you as a sports agent dad, right? I, I do. I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful. Uh, Sarah has been a tremendous support for me over the years. I, I, I travel a lot and uh, she's uh, always here to, to maintain the, the house, take care of the kids. And, um, you know, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I do work hard. So when I can share special experiences like, uh, those pictures, the Super Bowls and, uh, uh, you know, going to games and, uh, just doing fun and, and unique things with them. It, it, it means a lot. That's, that's kind of the payoff for dad not being home and, 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 and missing certain things throughout the year. So I, I certainly appreciate Sarah and, and my kids understanding and, um, uh, supporting me and my extended family as well, my, my parents and in-laws for, for going out of their way to, to help us uh, live the, the, the crazy life that we live. But Carter, you know, when you're at the games, like the Super Bowl, you know, you're just not at the game. You're like, you, you get to go on the field. <laughs> so that's different than most you know, people sometimes. who have the chance like COVID, to go. COVID has changed things a little bit, unfortunately. But uh, uh, yes, Russ, I have been very fortunate over the years to kind of have had that uh, behind the scenes access and uh, it's it's not always good sometimes you don't want to know how the sausage is made but um, I've uh, been very fortunate to to see things from different perspectives and ultimately I think it helps me uh, be be better in in my job and uh, provide uh, clients with uh, just a little bit maybe different perspective than uh, um, people that may have not have, have had that access. So I'm, I'm very grateful. And uh, I think that's a function of uh, doing things the right way. And, and uh, obviously knowing, knowing the right people and associating with the right people. Now, Carter, it seems like, you know, there's other sports agents that try to really get as many clients as possible, but isn't there a balance that you need? I think, I think that's why you're very selective with who you have, because you want to really represent them in the greatest possible way. And you, you can't do that if you have like a thousand clients, right? Yeah. I, I think you're, you're exactly right. There's, there's a fine balance between uh, being able to make a living, support your family, and then maybe having too many clients where you spread yourself a, a little bit thin and you're not able to provide them with uh, the, the level of, of, of service uh, that, that, that you want. So we've chosen uh, certainly quality over quantity. Uh, we're very selective in whom we choose to work with. And I think that served us, uh, served me well over the course of my career because teams know if I call them or I'm talking to them about one of my clients that uh, they're going to get a certain type of uh, individual, certain type of character, certain type of work ethic as, as, as we discussed. The teams can evaluate the player on film and they'll watch games and uh, they'll have a much better understanding uh, as to how that player may fit into their scheme or into their organization. But they're really looking to an agent to help kind of fill in the holes and, 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 and help them 
understand whether they're making the right investment in, in, in the player. And uh, you have to understand uh, when, when, when you get into a professional sports environment, um, obviously the team, the organization wants you to be productive off the fee- on, on, on the field, but they're also looking for someone that um, will be outstanding in the community, someone that the organization that can, 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 can be proud of. And uh, they do so much work, uh, background work on, on, on players going back to when they were in high school that they really rely on agents to try and, and, and help them understand what kind of individual they're, they're, they're getting as well. So, um, you know, again, I think that just is a, is a matter of uh, uh, having a reputation of, of working with good quality clients. And I've been very fortunate uh, over the years to uh, have had uh, those clients on my, uh, on my roster list, if you will. So, um, you know, that's that's our focus and uh, it's hard though it's hard rusty to try and find um, players that fit those three criteria that we're looking for and and, and obviously um, uh, continue to maintain the you know, the current clients that you have so that's the challenge every year but um, you know, fortunately we've been able to to, to, to do that for, for for a long time now well that's why you have a superior culture of excellence Carter and <laughs> Carter I want to ask you one more thing before we wrap up <laughs> When you reflect back on your life so far, what's an important lesson you learned? Uh, like I said, to treat, treat everyone with respect, uh, do, do, do things the right way. I think that's, you know, that's, that's how you'll find fulfillment. I mean, professionally for me, fulfillment is, is seeing my clients find success on the field and, and happiness off the field. And um, personally, it's, it's spending time with my family and providing them with opportunities that will help them learn and to grow and to experience unique things. Oh, I like that. It's all about fulfillment there, Carter. And I want to thank you for taking time to be on the show today. You've been doing such incredible work. I mean, you're, now I know why you're highly sought after. And I really want to thank you for joining me on the show today. Thank you. My, my, my privilege and uh, look forward to continuing to follow your career and uh, look forward to that third book, Rusty. Thanks, Carter. All right. All the best. And thank you for watching Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. For more information, please visit RustyKomori.com. And my books are available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. I hope that Carter and I will inspire you to create your own superior culture of excellence and to find your greatness and help others find theirs. Aloha.